What happens when you are introduced to the father figure? That is the figure of structure and authority. He is the one that gives stability. He creates a feeling of security in the house. It is so you see that common thread between uh, the emperor and force. That stability, that structure, that is what the emperor and the for uh, the force represent. Home friends, welcome to our channel Zazen Tarot Space. In today's video, we will continue with our number series. In the number series, we had understood, we had begun to understand what the fool's journey is all about. In fact, friends, the entire tarot deck is built around the fool's journey. Every single card in the tarot deck basically is one part of the fool's journey now the major arcana which is which represents the major developments in life for the fool and the minor arcana is an extension of each of the major arcana cards the ones related as per number to understand that a little more clearly friends when our fool began on his journey he came across the first major arcana card namely the magician our magician is responsible for the development of the aces the magician along with the aces has the power to start off anything in any realm of our life namely the four areas which is the area of emotion the area of thoughts and words and ideas the area of work the area of material progress this is also seen on the magician card which we have discussed earlier also that we see the four tools the four symbols of the four elements and suits uh, belonging to the aces on our on the table of our magician so friends when the fool begins his journey obviously he begins with the magician card and the aces where a new seed in each of the realms is presented then we move on to the twos in the minor arcana which are extended from the high priestess card of the major arcana so the high priestess card in which we see the number 2 written is all about intuition the twos which progress from that which relate to that or originate from the high priestess are all about decision where in the aces we were presented with a new seed a new germ a new energy there in the tools we are seeing how to take decisions we are learning how to take decisions and we are deciding what we want to do with the new energy that we have received in our races we are also deciding that if we are presented with more than just a single option then which of these do we want to choose do we want to choose or reject everything we have already seen all of that in our twos now in our threes we saw that when the decision has been taken then we need to develop that we need to grow that so that is why threes represent support they represent growth and development of what of that idea which was finalized in the twos that decision which was taken in the twos the twos which was represented by the high priestess now in the threes the card related to the threes is the empress card which has also the number 3 written on top of it friends this is deeply significant see the empress card is significant of the mother the first thing that a baby encounters so the first thing that the child really uh, loves is the mother and it is the loving warmth from the mother who nourishes the child that helps the child to grow and develop that is why the threes originate and from and relate to the empress card because the mother nourishes us 
So this part of the fool's journey we have understood. Now what happens after the Empress? Now the next card is the card Major Arcana card which has number 4 written on it. That is the card of the Emperor. The Emperor rep represents the father figure. It represents the father in the fool's life. What happens when you are introduced to the father figure? That is the figure of structure and authority. He is the one that gives stability. He creates a feeling of security in the house. It is the job of where it is the job of the empress to nurture the child. The mother nurtures and provides growth and care for the child. Similarly, the father tries to provide for the child. So, even when we look at the minor arcana card, what is happening? Once you have grown your ideas, the decisions that you have taken, you have acted upon that and you have seen that they grow and they develop. You support your ideas and you work towards their growth and development. What is needed next? Once we, ha once we have started a project, we need to grow it and then we need to say that okay we need to reach a point where our project is stable so you see that common thread between uh, the emperor and force that stability that structure that is what the emperor and the for uh, the force represent I hope you understood the correlation between the Major Arcana Emperor and the Minor Arcana Force and why the key word here is stability. Now understanding our force further, when we talk about the positive aspects of force, force are about we have invested our energy, our passion, our emotion our ideas, our thoughts into something. Now we want that to be uh, in a situation of constant, let's call it constancy, a kind of constancy where we know that okay this project of ours is stable, nobody wants the excitement of ups and downs all the time. We want our things to grow but we also want things to be solid, rooted, established and it is these things which are represented by our force, a solid foundation. Also we have put in our work and we have gotten past the initial phase where we were young and fragile. Now in the force we are rooted, we are strong. So when positive, our fours are representing a solid foundation on which we will now next build more. So this is also the foundation of building more. But when the fours become negative, how, do the, how does a card become negative friends? We have discussed this earlier in many of our videos. A card can become negative in three ways. Either it lands up in a negative position. So let's say when we give positions to our cards that okay in this position uh, we want to see the past, in this position we want to see the present, in this position we want to see the future. Now, there is nothing negative about any of these positions. But for example let's say we have a position for doubt and uh, doubts and fears. It's a negative uh, position. So when a card comes into a negative uh, you know, a, a position that is when it can acquire a negative meaning. Secondly, if the card is surrounded by negative cards, then it takes on a negative meaning largely. Thirdly, if the card comes upside down, then also if we are reading reversals, then an upside down card can be read as per its negative meaning. So when a four is negative, then what does it mean that where we had stability in the positive aspect, there stability okay but it has actually not, it is not growing. From the threes instead of 
the growth and the stability that was to be achieved in the force has now come to a halt and uh, we do not know how to develop on that sol solid foundation so either the sol solid foundation which was expected of the force is not achieved things have come to a halt or else the for even if the solid foundation somewhat is achieved then we do not know how to evolve this any further how to develop this any further so friends let us look at our four uh, cards of fours each of the fours so there are four fours of course four of wands a very positive card in itself stability we are combining the root word of the force that is stability the keyword of the force that is stability along with the keyword of wands what is that work fire energy our karma our action when we are combining stability with action what is happening now we have a sense of development in terms of our work our work has achieved what it was set out to achieve so there is a sense of satisfaction a sense of completion all of this related to work there are many more meanings we will get into those meanings when into when we uh, look at the detailed videos per, for each card but here i just want to introduce you to the general theme of stability and how it is seen across the fours so in the first four of wands we see stability in terms of work it is a good card now we come to the four of cups here we see that there is stability plus emotions but one look at the card and we know that it looks a little depressing a little sad so that positivity is not really there it's where you have had emotions in the three of cups we had seen we had enough emotional growth but here instead of getting that yes there is stability in terms of emotions but it is a sense of not really being interested or satisfied with that stability it's a card where you are not sure whether what you are being offered is enough or you are happy with that or whether you want to build further on it at all so there's a negative uh, underlying emotion to the card now from the cups we move to our swords the swords which was all about thoughts and ideas the sword which is largely a negative uh, mostly has a lot of negative cards here that negativity comes to a more or less pause at least if not a halt then there is stability with respect with respect to the elements uh, with respect to everything represented by the suit of swords so stability with respect to thoughts why because the person is sleeping stability with respect to ideas stability will with respect to stress and tension stability with respect to words so we are a, a time and a space where we take a break from thinking speaking communication ideating and we go off to sleep which is good because the you know the kind of negative uh, aspects of swords has come to a halt in the four of pentacles that is our last four it is stability along with combined with all the things represented by our suit of pentacles which was what material security material things material uh, uh, success so here we are stable materially we have everything that we need to keep going we have developed a stable life in the material world so all in all basically again a positive card we will look at each of these cards in greater detail in our subsequent videos of the minor arcana friends friends if you have any questions any doubts post them in the comments section below from here we will move on in two directions we will move on in our number series to our fours reversed what does it mean when our fours are reversed and in the other 
minor arcana series we will understand what each of the four means we will look at each of the cards individually and we will understand in depth the meaning of the cards